Hello, my name is Francis Omonefe, an inspiration geophysicist with Fandi Consulting. I have this question popping up on my DM that how to reduce your error percentage in 1D and 2D. And also, at the end of this video, I'll be discussing whether it is necessary for you to reduce your percentage error or not, especially in the mining industry. Let me quickly dive in straight to the tutorial. Now, how to reduce it in 1D? Let's start with 1D. It's very easy and straightforward. Reducing your um, error percentage in 1D is a very straightforward process and it goes like this. Let's do it with IPI2 win. IPI2 win. Let me launch it. Okay, so this is the interface when doing the 1D. So quickly, let's add a new VS point. Um, I'll open my PowerPoint where I've already prepared my 1D. So this is your AB over 2, copy paste, then let's pick our apparent resistivity value, apparent resistivity value, copy, paste. Okay, let's assume this is your apparent resistivity. Let's go straight to carrying out our inversion. So I'm saving it as test. If you have asked you how do you want to save it, I say let's save it as a text. Now this is your inversion line. This is your inversion line and your RMS error is showing 100 and 182%. Wow, this is big. Look at our points far away from our inversion line. So let's quickly carry out our inversion, the proper one. Okay, so this is the best curve. This is the best curve for your 1D um, inversion. But our RMS value is still within 170%. So reducing this error is very straightforward. It's dragging this point to the red line. So to do so, you just click on your edit fit curve. Click on it. Then you click on show the synthetics. Then you start dragging, dragging, let's drag drag to fit drag to fit the lines keep dragging to fit the lines drag 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 so by doing so you are reducing your ERMS your RMS values by doing this stuff so let's keep on drag 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 to fit the line Drag, 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 drag. Oh, I'm not a good singer. Doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make sure that this session is not boring for you. So you keep dragging like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this, and like this. Oh, this area is this scattered. So you drag like this. Okay. 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 So when you're done, you click your on OK. And you see that your percentage error is not 1.88% as simple as that but the question keep popping how do i do this in 2d okay so that is the tutorial actually the tutorial is doing this for the 2d because i think everybody know how to do this for 1d honestly yeah every beginner every student should know how to reduce your percentage error in 1d but i just okay let me refresh your memory this is just a refresh stuff so that is that. And let's go back to our 2D. Let's close this thing entirely. Close this thing entirely. Okay, so let me go back to my SS spreadsheet. This is for my 2D. I just opened my 2D um, already prepared spreadsheet. So I'll copy it and paste it on the notepad. So let's copy, copy. Oh, I did add the closing remarks let me add the closing remarks the zeros 
think four zeros will be enough. Uh, let's make it four. So let's copy. Copy. Then you open a notepad. Let's quickly open our notepad. Paste it there. Okay, so notepad is open. So let's paste it and save it. So we have pasted it. Okay, so let's save our, our 2D document inside a folder called DS. So we'll save it as a 2D text. So for um, easier purpose, let's save it as an asking file so that we can save it as a dot .dat. So you click on save. So you can minimize or close then close the spreadsheet. So let's quickly launch our studio inversion. It's already on the desktop, but let's just search it on your system. You click on the studio inversion and you, you, you launch it. So you click on OK. These are the normal pop-ups that come on the first time launching the software. So you let's read the file. Let's read our 2D test file and it read successfully without an error. You click on OK. So let's quickly carry out our inversion. Carry out the inversion. It will ask you to save the inversion file. Good. Let's save it and carry out the inversion. Okay. At this point, it will ask you if you need to carry out more iteration to reduce the RMS value. Um, no, I don't want to reduce it any further. Thank you very much. So we can save. I click no at this point no i don't want to so that is it as you can see the rms value at the moment is showing 151.5 rms error is showing 151.5 so um let's quickly display our inversion results let's quickly display our inversion results so you go to inversion Go to your inversion panel, I mean display panel, and you display your inversion result. Click on OK. So at this point, let's um, you can decide to just go straight to your RMS error um, edition panel, or you can display your result as well. So let's quickly display our result. Um, I want to display the IP and the restivity data together. So to do that. You go to your um, display panel. Yeah, you go to your display panel. You go to um, choose restivity or IP. And you toggle on the display restivity and IP model. You click on OK to display your inversion result. Display it. So to display your inversion result, I need to ask you if you want to take more iteration. No, you click zero. So display the restivity in. Okay, so you just choose the option you want to display your inversion results. So as you can see that your restivity value has an error percentage as high as 271.8, while the IP session have a value of 204.3 so before you go to your rms error edition center or panel so you can see these are your data points these are your data points scattering away from the linear angle so you see this green line as you move it towards your left hand side you are cutting away data from your data points so you are, you are trimming away data points and take it to the left hand you are reducing the trimming error so this is where you reduce your error percentage so the more you go to the left hand side the more percentage error you have a smaller percentage error and you are taking away data you are taking taking away data points from your data as you can see some points are now in red it means that those points in red will be cut off from your data sheet 
So the more you go to your left hand side, the more red points that you have, the more you go to your right hand side, the more the less red points that you have. So you have to be careful not to trim away vital information from your data set. So that is it. So for the purpose of this um, tutorial, I will be trimming away a very large portion because I want to show you something in the future. So when you are done, you click that you want to exit the panel to ask you, do you want to save the trimmed data? Yes, of course, I want to save the trimmed data. To ask you, save it with a name. Okay, I'll save it with um, 2D reduce or RMS reduce. Yeah, RMS reduce is okay. Click on save. Okay. So you exit, exit this panel because you have to start everything from the beginning, from reading a file again. So you exit the panel, exit the, the panel, and you go to reading a file from the beginning. You, this time you are reading your RMS reduce file. To click OK. Now watch your screen. While we are trying to carry out our evasion, you see that um, the evasion has some missing parts. Yes, the evasion has missing parts and sometimes if you are not careful to come up with an error just like mine so i will advise if you want to reduce your rms value reduce it minimal minimal like probably like one or two bars one or two bars now let me quickly tell you why it is not necessary to actually remove your rms value because red sia from the university of kabbalah said um um, RMS error is the statistical difference between the measured and the calculated apparent relativity value. Each iteration had a certain RMS um, value. Usually, the smaller is the better, but higher RMS might give a best imaging of the other grand in some special cases. So you see, so you see the reason why. I don't reduce my error in 2D. But if in 1D, I reduce, okay, I try to reduce. But in 2D, I don't reduce my RMS value. So, um, if this um, channel has actually um, given you a vital information, please subscribe, subscribe so that I can keep doing more videos. This is me, Francis Omonefe, trying to bring the industry closer to the student and the student closer to the industry, trying to bridge this gap, this gap of student living in university sector and not knowing anything about their field yeah trying to bridge that gap so please uh, if you have any question please leave it on the comment section i will try to reply as quick as possible and if it requires me making another video to answer your question i'll do it also thank you very much and i appreciate your time with us